Hi, and welcome back to Good Knit Kisses. I'm your host, Kristen, and I am continuing on with my last quick video of the figure eight stitch or the fishnet or the diamond lace stitch, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> um, we're doing a flat panel here, and what you saw in the last video, I had knit about this far and trying to show it as a straight flat panel and I had someone ask me if they could increase it and um, so I've started gradually increasing and that, of course that's the back of the fabric and here's the front so it looks about the same and except it's you can see it's gradually increasing starting about here on either side what I'm doing to get that is um, we're knitting back and forth in the flat panel and remember I've got uh, multiples of two plus one so we have, you can see that I've added on, I've increased uh, two times already on this side and two times here. You want to increase evenly. So I'm almost finished with this row. We're going this direction. And I'm going to wrap behind this. This is where my stitch is coming from, this peg here. So I'm going to skip a stitch and go to the next one and then come behind the skipped one and knit that over. did that one tight before. Okay, so we knit that over and then before if I was going to continue going on I would just e-wrap this stitch and then move back over in this direction but I'm not going to do that. I am going to um, make another figure eight. So just pretend this already had something on it and go to the empty peg and then wrap this other peg here and then go ahead and knit over. Now, now you only have one to knit over here. Okay, and so now we have increased by one. Go ahead and e-wrap this one as you would have done on that last. And now we've increased. We're going to do a figure eight again back across to the other side. And then we will um, increase again on the other side. So again, the figure eight is going behind, skipping the peg next to you, wrapping, going behind that skipped peg, and then um, knitting over on both those pegs. Now you're gonna go across, knit over every time and like I said in the last video every peg is basically getting um, wrapped and knit over twice you're just it's just in a sequence and so they all get done twice they're just not at the same time and um, there's also a version of this using three pegs instead of two and I'm doing the two peg version and when we go to the other side, um, those are our increase rows that we will have done. Now, after that, we will actually create two foundation rows um, just to kind of set it in so it won't be as a severe as of an increase. So you could keep increasing on uh, every row uh, and then on the end of each row. So one increase per side and consistently keep doing it. But the way uh, I'm doing it is I'm trying to make it a little more gradual and I would just make it even in between so if you're going to gradually increase it add two rows in between if you want to do it even more gradually then you could add like four rows in between just multiples of two just keep that in mind so we're coming across here hopefully I haven't gone off screen I'm actually not looking at the, uh, the viewfinder here and I am just looking at my knitting so Okay, almost at the end, and we're going to increase on this end. Okay, we've got two pegs left that have wraps on them. We're going to go ahead and e-wrap as normal. I'm sorry, do our figure eight as normal. See, I do it too. <laughs> okay, so now we have the, the um, working strand coming out of the second to last wrapped peg. And we're going to go behind the last wrap peg, go around the uh, empty one that's next to it, and then wrap around that one that we skipped. Okay. So now we've got an, one increased over here. Now if you want to make sure that you're even on both sides, you can count how many pass. These were my starting pegs. Um, this one is um, blue on the left. It looks green in this light, I think, but blue on the left, and then I've got purple on my right. So I've got one, two, three pegs over here, and one, two, three over here. So I've increased evenly. So go ahead and wrap that one again, do an E-wrap on the end. And then now we're going to move back across. 
just doing the same stitch. But on this row, when we're going in this direction, we are not going to increase this time. And then when we go back, we won't increase either. So I think you've got the gist. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, email me or you can go feel free to email me or you can um, write me on my page yeah I'm sorry comment in the video and uh, you could also uh, contact me on Facebook you can see me on there a lot I've got a um, the Good Knit Kisses Loom Knit and Craft Club. So thanks again for joining me at Good Knit Kisses. I hope this was helpful for you to increase slowly and make a nice shawl or some other item or garment. Um, have a great day and happy looming. Bye-bye.